Hello everyone and welcome to another Giants Editor tutorial. I've been asked a lot of questions and I'm going to make videos periodically when I get time to do them. But this one is how do you make a harvester hold or store more of your, you know, harvested crops? Well, let's find out together and do it right now. Okay, so once you have downloaded the specific mod that you would like to store more, as you will see. Let's just make this larger. Can I make the image icon larger? No, I can't. Well, there we go. So I have in here, when you download it, it will end up in your downloads folder. So here it is right here. The I chose the Alice Chalmers 5000. It is an old style harvester. What I would like you to do is within the downloads folder, right click and click on extract here. If you can't do that, what you want to do is right click, click on extract files and then just go in. You'll see three little dots and you can select whichever file you want it to be extracted to. So for this purpose, we'll do extract here. What that will do is that will unzip the file, as you can see. Let's make these icons a little bit smaller now. Here we go. As you can see, all these files here, these ones here, and these ones here, are all part of this Harvester mod. What we're looking for is the Harvester itself, not the headers, not the header trailers or anything like that. We just want the Harvester. So, if you don't know which one is which from all of these icons, the best way to do it is to go in the images or store file. There'll always be a file with the images. Best thing to do is do that. And here you will see the images. So we've got store trailer 4, 3, header, header, and then obviously store Alice 5000. So, we know we now need this. Because it ain't these, isn't the header, it isn't the other header. The only one left would be the Z040. So that is the one we need. So over here, the Z040. Whichever web browser you use, it will come up with that. That icon for me, it's this one. So what I want you to do is you are going to need Notepad++. What I will do is I will put a link in the description directly to download Notepad++ to make things a lot easier for you. So what we do is we right click, click on edit with Notepad++. Then that will bring up this XML file right here, which is the one you need. It gives you the specifications, it gives you everything. The base types, the mass, everything like that. What we want to do is we want to scroll down. It will be a fair ways down. So you got to be wary. We want, where are you? Let's keep our eyes open. We will need to scroll down. We still need to scroll down. So harvesters have a lot of moving components. Oh, here we go. What we are looking for is fill unit. If you can't find it, if you hold control, left control and F, that will bring up find. And then what you do is find what? In there, what you do is type in fill and then press enter and it should take you straight to it, which is very easy. So once you have found fill unit, I would like you to look through for the red line, red words, sorry, saying capacity. And it will give you a number there, 4,000. That is the fill capacity of this harvester. So if we wanted to update it to hold more, what we do is we get rid of the initial number and say if I wanted this to hold 12,000 litres. I would put 12000, that is the equivalent, obviously, to 12,000 in these open, I think they're parentheses, I think. But you have to take into account, if you change this to something like really unrealistic, like this number, 
then you have to account for the weight. Because everything you update is going to have weight. So the best way to do that is to use this. And I have written it down here so you can see it, make life a lot easier for yourself. You need to put in update mass equals open parentheses, parentheses, parentheses false, close parentheses. That's what you need to put in. So that's what we will do. So if we go in here, just after the closed parentheses, we press spacebar, then we put in update, just all lowercase, and then mass. But with the word mass, the M has to be capitalized. Please make sure that the M is capital. A-S-S -S is lowercase. Yes? There we go. And that's what that is here. Update mass. We then put equals, then open parentheses, and then all in lowercase, false. F-A-L-S-E. And then close parentheses, which is literally the two brackets. That's all they are. I mean, you can put a space or you can just leave it like that. But what that will now do with update mass equals open parentheses, false, close parentheses, that will trick the harvester into thinking when it's full of this huge amount, it'll act and think that it is, well, weightless, basically. It's not going to have any weight. So you can still drive around as normal, and it's not going to be sunk right into the ground. So what you will then want to do after you've done this is I want you to go into file, you're going to save as, then obviously you find your file, which for me is the Z0. If you don't know which one it is, up here, when you've opened Notepad++, it will tell you. Up here, it's Z040. So if you're doing a different mod, it will have a different name. Just make sure you save it into the right place. So save as, for me, again, it is going to be the Z040. So I click on that, and then save. It says it already exists. Do I want to override it? Yes. So then after that, what we do is we go back into our downloads folder because it's already saved it as you can see this has now been changed and it will be moved to the top what I normally do is on the original I right click rename I hold left control and press C for cat I then delete the original or you can grab it and move it out the way to a different folder I then right click new new zip folder, WinRAR, WinZip, whichever you use, and then I hold left control and V for Victor, and that will copy and paste the original name. So you don't need to mess around, you'll have the original name. What you then want to do is you want to highlight absolutely everything apart from the new zip folder that you have created. You hold left control and left click on the zip folder and that will deselect it. I then want you to, to left click and drag over the harvester zip folder and what that will do is that will put all these folders into this zipped folder. That's what it will do. And then all you do is grab your new zip file, put it into, drop it into your mods folder and voila, you will have Whatever harvester you have decided to pick, it works the same for trailers. It's the same thing. You look for fill, look for the numbers, change the numbers. If you think it's going to be too heavy for that trailer, add in update mass equals open parentheses, false, close parentheses. That's all you do. So that's going to be it for this one. I hope that has helped. 
to make sure that you can hold more in your harvester or your trailer, whichever you do. It's the same steps for a trailer. So yeah, I hope that helped. Till then, have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next Giants Editor tutorial. Nice and quick.